I'm Neil David Seibel and I am an actor, a director, an educator, and a playwright. One is that it is specifically for new plays. So if you want to do new plays, this program actually takes you through the process of going through readings, of dealing with changing given circumstances, of, of assessing where the play is in development, of assessing the communication styles in the room, of, of understanding how to adapt your communication in order to get the goal done, which is always how do we get the play to a better place than it was before. and it's all about process. It's not about product, which is a really cool difference. But the joy of being in a safe environment is that you can take risks. You can go down this road and, and check out a script that you want to like delve into with the playwright. You can have a voice in that development. You can give feedback. You learn how to give feedback. You learn how to give feedback so that it's about the work and it's not about the personalities behind the work. It's about the job of getting the play to be the best play it can be. You cannot have a new play without a playwright. You cannot have a new play without a director, and you cannot have a new play without, without actors. You also throw into the mix that learning how to talk with designers, learning how to create a company together, learning how to do things with each other to create not just a one-time only project, but actually creating a community and creating your community that you're gonna carry on throughout past Holland's. So I teach the ensembles and collaboration, which is specifically for actors. And so over the six weeks of the summer, and we start off with really looking at audition technique. And then we go into just a basic recap of acting, of what, what the basic acting critical analysis from an actor or a performative standpoint. Then we, we, we really shift into dealing with the realities of new play development and the fact that you can get a script that changes, completely changes your character in one line, which a director or a playwright not, may not think of how that affects us, but as actors we have to know, okay, I have to run with that, I have to be flexible, I have to go with this in the moment, I can't be so married to this character because this character is not set. Unlike a set play that's published, you can't change that. This one, you gotta roll with those punches and, and kind of take that information as it comes and change accordingly. That is a skill set. On the flip side though, you also start learning to communicate in playwright speak and director speak so that you become actually a part of the process where that is, uh, and you're also learning to, to assess when that's welcome and when it's time to just be quiet and let's focus on the task at hand. Which task at hand is always make a play better than it was before. Viewpoints are a way of visual storytelling that takes a full advantage of the elements of time and space. So when you throw in the idea of composition, it also adds another way of creating work, creating ensemble-based work. But as a playwright taking it, playwrights really, really love it because they're starting to think in a different way and see opportunities and abilities in a different way. For performers, it's fantastic because you're, you're really thinking about how it affects you as a human being in time and space and how it affects your physical body. Everybody's in the soup together immediately, and, there, and we also look at the different how these viewpoints can be utilized by an actor, by a director, by a playwright, and because everybody's in the same room, they start learning the, the speak of the other people very, very quickly. They start understanding um, a, an idea of group effort. If everybody's saying yes and, yes and, it's kind of creating that sense of working with each other so that playwrights aren't so scary. They're not that person in the back who's like scribbling notes at the back of the theater going here and then suddenly you have a brand new character. The, the director is not this person who's up there barking at you and saying, oh my God, you're doing it wrong. It's this person who is actually on the floor with you and, and, and in the moment and trying to solve their problems as quickly and efficiently and as present as possible and then also this this ideal that that actors are are 
really, really crucial, absolutely unnecessary part of this process, and not just as a servant, but actually as a contributor. And so that synthesis really comes together in viewpoints when you have everybody barefoot, in sweats, sweating, working together, figuring it out, and creating some really fun, interesting work. So it's excellent for people who are, who are teaching right now and, and, and might feel a little stagnant or might feel like they, they just want to focus or refocus or branch out into something new, whether it's the certificate in acting or the certificate in directing or, or if they want to follow that through and go through and actually get an MFA in playwriting because it's something that they've always wanted to do or something that you know, you're know you interested in. Uh, once you get here and you start working, it's funny how many people realize, oh, I have a voice, I have something that I want to say and I want to learn how to say it. So it's great in that model.